I've showed you a lot of ways to improve your 3D printer, use your 3D printer. This week I wanted to just try something fun. Some I've been wanting to play with and that's the Voronoi effect. It's where you can take a solid object and turn it into a mesh or a netting. Kind of like, like this, where you have a bunch of holes and it forms an object. But I wanted to do it with something that was more artistic. So my wife has this statue of the thinker and I wanted to see if I could turn this into this using the Voronoi effect. I'll show you how I did it on today's Film of Friday. Film of Friday is brought to you by these Patreon supporters. I don't have a good scanner to convert that statue into a .stl file, and I've learned that a low poly design actually works a lot better. So I found this one on Thingiverse by user LXO. I'm going to use this to apply the Voronoi effect and create my statue. Now, I've seen a lot of people use CAD tools and different software to create this effect, but it turns out there's a site called Voronator.com which allows you to upload a file and convert it. You just go to the Choose File, upload the .stl file that I downloaded from Thingiverse, and it uploads it. Then you have to select STL, and then you have a few options here. I'm going to go for less holes, and I'm also going to go for thicker. I've learned that this makes it easier to print. So once it does that, it takes quite a few minutes to convert so you get this spinning wheel but when it's done it gives you this design so you can look at it and then decide to download it there's two versions a simple version and a complex version I'm gonna go with the simple version and it turns out it's pretty good I brought it into Cura version 4.3 I sliced it at a 0.28 layer height using my magic profile at 25 percent infill this thing said 14 hours and 50 minutes I was shocked by that it seems like it would print faster. So I wanted to try this out first, so I set it to 50%, and this made it a little more reasonable, but it takes a while to slice this thing. So there's a lot of detail to it, but when it was done, it said it would take three hours and 20 minutes. So I decided to print this on my Ender 3. And here's it printing. It really leaves a lot of stringing and a lot of spots, but this is the 50%. It's kind of sketchy. It's not the best print in the world. There are several spots where it kind of missed, so it told me it really needed to be printed bigger. So I decided to go for it. I upsized it to its original size of 100%, 14 hours and 50 minutes, and I printed it. And it printed, and here it is. And it's still not, I would say, the best print, but it's a lot better than the 50%. Since bigger seems to be better, I decided to print it at 150%, but on my Delta CME CNC Artemis. This thing prints fast, it's got a bigger nozzle, and it ended up printing in about the same time as it did on the Ender 3. And here it is next to the statue. Now it's not perfect, there's still bad spots on it because there's spots where it sags. But overall, I like this. This is what I imagined the Voronoi effect applied to this statue. So I did it. I went from this through a low poly design to this. Well, it's not that great looking. And when I showed my wife, she gave me that look. Throw that crap out. I may not be artistic, but this was a lot of fun. And I see practical applications for this. Like if you want to make a lampshade or a protection cage around a bulb you use in your workshop. It'll protect the bulb from hitting and not break the glass. So I think there's definitely applications you can use this with. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think you should at least try it and let me know in the comments below.